Okay, Jasmine, let's take a look at your writing. It says, to me, honor means to keep a secret. My friends tell me. Also, when my brother does something because I want to protect him. Um, okay, so... Um, to me, honor means to uh, keep a secret, my friends tell me, or to keep my brother's secrets to protect him. And to keep my brother's secrets to protect him, okay? So include this in one sentence, okay? Honor is important because if I don't have it, I'll lose my friends. Um, okay, that's fine. It says, like one day my mom and dad were going to the gym, so my big brother and I and little brother and uh, stayed alone. My big brother knew he wasn't supposed to go outside, but he did. He went outside several times. Then one hour later, they came back. My brother tried to lie, but he just told the truth. Okay, wonderful story, but this does not prove. This does not prove that you keep secrets. Or protect your brother. Okay. It's a wonderful story, but it doesn't do anything to prove that you protect your brother or that you keep secrets. Okay, It's just a little story about your brother, which is okay, but it has nothing to do with proving your thesis. Okay, uh, When my friend, uh, friends tell secrets, I don't tell anyone unless they tell me to. Unless who tells you to? The people that want to hear it? So this is a pronoun that without a, a proper antecedent. We don't, you have two antecedents before it. You have your friends that tell you secrets, anyone, and I don't tell anyone, and then uh, you have they, okay? So they will refer probably back to the closest antecedent. You can't, you can't have two antecedents here and, and not, it's confusing because I don't know which one they refers to, okay? So we need to fix that. One day my friend told me a very big secret, but she told me I couldn't tell anyone. I wanted to tell my, bro my other friend, but I couldn't. The only way I could stop myself is by saying it over and over and over again in my head. Okay, fine. Um, this is, okay, evidence. This is, proves that you keep a secret. Proves your, your, um, your thesis. Okay, it'd be more cool if you could tell us what the secret was, but I guess that would be you know, I don't know, that would be kind of cool, but maybe not. Um, that's why honor is important to me, to keep big, to keep my big brother safe. Um, okay, I understand that you want to keep your big brother safe, but you don't prove that. Okay, all you do is prove that he's honest, which is cool. <laughs> he tells the truth, but that doesn't prove that you're, you keep secrets or that you're protecting them. It's proving that he tells the truth. Okay, so we want to, and he can't lie to your parents, okay? so. So you want to fix this story right here because this whole story right here has nothing to do with your paper. And it's down here too. My friends have confidence in me and to be just honorable. Okay, uh, so fix your topic sentence, restate it. You need a better argument up here because you don't prove half your argument and you only have one example of you keeping a secret, okay? So we need to um, come up with better support that actually supports our thesis. Okay, and you, and you try to restate it down here, okay, but um, it needs some work, so revamp it and take some suggestions here and make sure that everything in our paper refers straight back to the topic sentence. We're not talking about your brother being honorable. We're not talking about him being truthful. We're not talking about him not able to lie to your parents. Um, we want to know that you keep secrets and that you protect him and you don't prove that in your paper. Uh, down here you do prove you keep secrets but it's only one piece of evidence and one piece of evidence is not enough to prove that you keep secrets all right so a revamp a little bit nice first attempt and uh, I'll help you out in class if you need it